if you recall, we used to come across a term known as ecosystem, particularly in biophysical systems, we would call it a food chain. Likewise, in uh, the cloud computing environment, we have an entire ecosystem. So let's look at the ecosystem uh, from the entities, components, and their roles viewpoint. So formally, we start with the definition. So the cloud computing ecosystem is a business ecosystem where everyone's present to make some money. It has various organizations, individuals, systems which interact with each other. The actors which perform certain actions in a cloud ecosystem are either there to provide cloud services or consume cloud services. So formally, the ITUT document defines three players as the cloud service users, cloud service providers, and the cloud service partners, also known as the cloud service networks. The diagram and the text I've taken from the International Telecommunication Union Telecom reference document uh, from 2012, that is ITUT focus group on cloud, the technical standard recommendations for uh, standardization. So here we see that uh, on the access side, the cloud service user uh, uses the provider to have access to the partners and the partner associated services. So you see that we have uh, service providers, a bridging between the service users and the third party, um, networks. Now let's look at the possible roles that we could see for uh, the uh, service users, providers, and the partners could be very obvious. For instance, the cloud service users could be individuals, uh, the government itself, or the enterprises. The cloud service providers could provide the very basic uh, classical form of cloud services like infrastructure, software, platform, network, etc. In addition, the uh, service providers could get together in various relationships known as interworking or internet working um, of cloud service providers for peering, service brokerage, and for federation. Uh, we will quickly have a look at all of these. Uh, and then the uh, partners or the cloud service networks could include the application developers for a certain uh, cloud service provider, content and software provider, um, the hardware and equipment provider, sometimes the vendors, sometimes the original equipment manufacturers themselves, and uh, the system integrators which could uh, um, merge, which could combine and uh, offer multiple uh, services, bun like bundled services. And then we have, if you recall from the NIST reference architecture, uh, the auditor as the uh, partner as well. The internet working scenarios for clouds could be uh, peering, federation, and brokerage. Let's look at each one of these in turn. So we have two service providers, A and B, which have exposed their APIs for accessing uh, their services. So these two are come into a peer-to-peer -peer relationship known as peering. So uh, cloud service providers would now connect to each other or interwork with each other uh, using the APIs provided by both. If we extend the same concept for more than two service providers, uh, we could think of it as a federation. So the federated or federation of uh, cloud service providers is uh, when multiple like-minded, uh, mutually trusting service providers uh, join an alliance, probably to provide the meta services or uh, super services. Uh, now each uh, cloud service provider connects to the other cloud service provider through a common API. This common API could be on bilateral relationship or could be a centralized 
common API. Um, and then uh, continuing with this, uh, the, the best or the most advanced form of internet working is when the service providers come together and depute or delegate a broker. So a broker is essentially another cloud service provider which plays the role of brokerage of services. So it means all the cloud service providers like A, B and C in this case expose their APIs uh, to the broker cloud service provider which on behalf of these uh, cloud service providers receives requests from the CSUs or cloud service users and likewise uh, entertains the requests from each of these cloud service providers. So it means now the broker has exposed the services for three cloud service providers uh, being the central entity. Now this particular relationship allows multiple uh, cloud service providers to work as a federation and delegating their uh, exposed services to a broker. 